In this video, you're gonna see how can you create a dynamic and interactive filter here in Excel. So, I have here a data set with a bunch of flows, and whenever I just apply here a filter condition to my header, so let's say I don't want to see all the information that I have in my data set, all the rows, however, just the rows that match with, let's say, Emma Dave inspection, and of course, not just that, but I uh, only want to see to the item 001, for example, enter, and if I click here in the bottom filter, and click it, and my data set is just filtered for me with just the conditions that met with the criteria that I defined before, and also I can click here also in the clear bottom, and my entire data set is just show for me all the rows, all the informations that I have. So I can use this automation to filter or to even clear the filter that is just made before. So let's find out how can you create this dynamic and interact filter here in Excel. Let's find it out. Basically, you're gonna use three steps. The first one is to create your headers, and then the second one is to transform our data set into a table itself, and then the last step, the third one, is to create the buttons, and with the buttons, we're gonna create the automation to filter or to just clear the filter that we're gonna create here, okay? So let's start here with the first step, and before we just start, it's important to say, uh, you don't need to use the same data set that I'm using here, you can use your own data set. So if you follow this step by step, uh, it's gonna work. You can have many rows, more rows that I have here, more columns, a different data set, it's gonna work, okay? Uh, you just need to follow the steps that I'm gonna show you here. The first thing that I want you to do is just create the headers, and to make sure it's possible, I'm gonna just move my data set a little bit out, okay? So let's say I'm gonna use, I, I'm gonna need three blank rows just above my data set. So let me just select these three first rows that I have, right click, insert. That way I can make sure I can bring down my data set and still maintain here the three blank rows. And to create the headers uh, in a faster and easier way, I can just select these two first rows of my data set, Ctrl C, and then here in the first cell of my spreadsheet, Ctrl V. That way I just copy and paste all the format uh, that I have here in my data set. So it's pretty much easier to create a, a, a render just using the same information that you have in your data set. Now I can select these first two rows that I, where I have my data set, click here in the wrong tab and use our borders, let's say, and I'm gonna select just the first row of my render and then go here to home tab, paint the, let's say the background of the cell with this dark gray and the text font, I'm gonna paint it with this white color. Now I can select all the second row that I have here, and instead of just maintaining with these values that I just copied from my data set, I can delete it. Okay, now let's move on to the second step. The weather is a weather done, and we can move on to the second step that is to transform our data set into a table. And this step is very important because whenever we just add a new row, for example, now you have, let's say, a hundred rows of uh, information of data. Okay, a hundred rows. However, let's say every single day you just add new information to your data set. When you create a table in Excel, the filter is gonna is keeping working for you. So even if you have a hundred rows and then in the next day you're gonna have 200, 300, a thousand rows, the filter is gonna keep in works for you. Okay? Whenever it doesn't matter the, the quantity of rows that you have. So why this is why it's important to transform your data set into a table in Excel. So let's click in whatever cell that you want in your data set. And then I go here to the insert tab, table, and I just want to make sure the range of my data set is correct, okay? And my table has readers, yes, okay, it has, so let me just maintain this check box, check. And then I'm gonna click here, okay. Now I already have here my table, and one thing that you can do, let's say you want to change the color, the design, the layout, you can click here in the table design, and then you can select another pattern that, you, that, that Excel gives you to you, another table style. So you can use yellow, gray, orangey, or so on. I'm gonna stick here with a yellow one, I really like yellow color, okay, let me select. And yeah, we're done with the second step. Now we can move on to the third and last one. Let's start here with the creation of the buttons itself. And then, uh, once the buttons are just done, we can move on and create the automation to filter or to just clear the filter that we just did before. Let me just click here in the Insert tab, Illustrations, Shapes, and then I can use whatever shape as you want. So for example, uh, I just stick with this rectangle, 
click and here to the right of my data set I'm gonna just size the, the area of my shape okay I can double click it to make sure it's possible to write it in uh, this first one is gonna be the filter option okay let me just double click here in the, in the board itself and then I'm gonna click here in home tab I'm gonna just align everyone in the middle horizontally and vertically and I'm gonna increase the font size to 20 for example put it in bold and one more thing that I want you to do here is select this shape format click here in the shape format tab and then I go here let's say to shape styles and I'm gonna select a green one so it can be uh, this one right here okay one more thing that I can do instead of just create from scratch again the second bottom this is gonna be the the, the, the clear bottom I can select this bottom that is already in the screen Control C Control V and I'll just bring it out to just below here the first bottom and this one here I can just change the text and it's gonna be uh, clear for example and the column of the second bottom is can be shape format let's say uh, a green one for a uh, red one for example okay one thing that I can do here to make sure whenever I just use the filter for example here in my table my bottom does not just hide itself in between the rows for example I can just select the first button here and then I'm gonna press and hold the control key and select the second one now I'm gonna right click in the first one or in the second for example and then I'm gonna use here for example uh, size and properties now with this pop-out that's gonna appear for me here I can just move here for properties and select don't move or size with cells okay so I'm gonna just make sure I stick with this option I can close the window and okay now to just finish uh, to just finish this dynamic filter is to create the automation itself to create the automation Excel we're gonna just need to use this develop tab here if you do not have this develop tab in your Excel do not freak out because you can click here let's say in the home tab right click in a blank area that you have here in the ribbon and then you can click in customize the ribbon now here instead of just using these popular commands in choose commands from you can change it to all tabs for example and here you can find the developer tab you just need to click here in develop that clicking add and then ok and then when you when you do this step by step you're gonna have here the develop tab you can click it and then you can use let's say record macro you can click it and this first macro that we're gonna use is to filter the, 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 the table itself so I can just use filter here as the name let me just click here in OK ever click here now ever just a uh, keyboard shortcut or keyboard key that I use it's gonna be record and save as a macro okay and the first thing that I want to do here is to make sure I click here in the first cell of my table so here in my case is the cell A4 so we're gonna click in the first cell A4 now we're gonna go here to let's say data and then here in the sort and filter option I'm gonna select advanced I'm gonna click and now I can just create my dynamic filter here in the list range is correct is all my table and don't need to worry about oh but my table today uh, in this exactly moment just have 291 rows uh, tomorrow it's gonna be 4,000 rows let's say the way don't need to, to you don't need to just pay attention to this detail because as we just transform our data set as a table it's gonna auto update for you so now in this moment have 291 rows for example however if I just add more rows it's gonna update auto update for you one important thing here is just to select the criteria range and my criteria range is my weather so let me click here in this up arrow now we're gonna select even the first and the second row that I have. Click here in down arrow and then I'm gonna click here in OK. One more thing you can do here is just click in the developer tab and stop recording. Now we're done. We can just uh, make sure it's working. So let's say I want to apply a filter here in my table to find and find all the, the values that just met with the item 001 for example. And then I can check if my automation is working. How can I check it? I can click here in the developer tab, macros, and I can see here all the macros that I create. Uh, in this moment, that is just one because this is the macro that we just create here together. And I can click here in run. Let's see if it's working. Run. Okay. Yeah, it's working. So 
whenever I type a value here in each one of these columns that I have, so SKU, product, category, quantity, order, total, it's going to just filter for me in an automatic way. And one thing that you can do here is just to apply this automation to this bottom here called filter. So right click it and then you can go here to assign macro, okay? Assign macro and then you can select the macro that you just create, filter and then okay. So whenever you click here in the filter now, the table is going to auto update for you uh, just following the columns that we just uh, use here. So if I just let everything here blank, so let's say there is no information here in my header, if I click in filter, this table just gonna show display for me with the all content. So we don't need even to use the clear buttons. However, just to make sure uh, the clear button is gonna work, we can make some automation here. So for example, what the clear button can do for us, just let's say click here in date and then to it can use a clear, this clear button here. So let's make sure we just apply here a filter. So for example, let me use a category, let's say, C001 just to apply a filter in my table filter okay now if I click here in the table uh, I can see that just the category that's match with this value that I just insert here is appearing here for me and one more thing if I just click here in the date I can see that now I can use here this clear button okay uh, so let's use it to make sure I can create an automation to the clear button that I have here so let me first click here in the de develop tab record macro and this one here is going to be called uh, clear for example this macro is going to clear the filter so okay let me select first thing the first cell, cell here of my table and then i'm going to click here in date and then click in clear okay now i can click uh, in develop tab again stop recording now i can just assign that macro that i just create with my to this button that i have here right click in the button now assign macro select here the clear option for example and then I'm gonna click here in OK now whenever I click here in the clear button it's gonna clear for me all the filters that if the, the table has some filter so let me select uh, let me use in here another option in my filter let's combine some some criteria so let's say I want you to see all the data that correspond with the inspection of Emma Davis for example and not just this however i want to just check another criteria so we're gonna use here two conditions two criteria uh, all the inspections by emma davins and all however just the product product item 001 okay now if i just click here in the filter my table is gonna just update for me following these two conditions that i just use here and if you just using a third or one more condition it's gonna work fine so we can use one criteria two three four and as many as criteria that you want to use. Now if I just click here in clear, the all table is just being, the, the filter is going to be clear for me. So that way we just finish, we just done with our automation. Now we can just filter the date and clear the date whenever I just use here a condition or a criteria. And one more important step here is to make sure you can save the automation that we just did here. So we're going to click here in file, for example, save as browse, for example, and here you can select in your computer where you need to save your file, you can give it a name and the more important thing is to save as type you're gonna select this second option here uh, Excel macro enabled, okay, so XLSM this is the important thing to do here, okay now we select the option and click on save so I hope this video tutorial can help you to make your spreadsheet more interesting to use and to make it more dynamic and if you have any questions just comment down below and I see you tomorrow as ever there is any video, I see you there